Hi guys, let's have a quick look at Dear Lover by Lil Mix. We have Kipu on fret 1 for this song. Uh, we have this nice finger picking stuff at the chorus, which is a little bit random because I see for the first chorus it's more of like this. And in the second chorus it goes like this. The pattern kind of changes, but after all you're just doing RPG on the chord shapes. So it's definitely super easy with the keep on fret 1 making the chords all open. So let's have a quick look at the chord shape first chords the E minor, open 2nd 2nd, open open open, D major, mute mute open 2nd 3rd 2nd, A minor, mute open 2nd 2nd 1st open, G major 3 2 open 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 3. Um, we are using a D minor chord for this song which is mute mute open 2nd 3rd 1. But wait a minute, you don't have to learn this D minor chord because we are not playing this D minor chord for the song. But what we are doing is we are using the D minor chord to play an E minor. So this E minor chord when you are going for the chorus, you don't have to go all the way down and play it as a bar chord. You can just bring this D minor chord shape two frets up. So one, two, all the way over here, get that same sound. Quite same. So mute, mute, mute. Uh, you can keep the top E string open, but keep the A and D E string muted somehow. We have four, five, three. D major, we put open second, third, second, and that's it. So, for the verse and for the pre chorus, the chord progression is a E minor for one bar, and then E minor and G for another bar. So, we, I'm doing for one dance on the E minor, A minor, two dance row, a little more faster, and G major, one dance row. So, two dance on A minor, a little bit faster. That's how it actually goes, the intro as well as the verse. There you have it. Once you move on to the pre chorus we just kind of try to spice up things, so we're going to make the string pattern a little bit different. So I'm going for a down, up mute down. The mute, I'm basically just doing an up stroke and then as soon as I do the up, I just keep my hand on the string, my palm, to get the sound of the chord music. So got... Yes. So down, up mute down on E minor. See that? Then one down stroke on, then a down up mute on the A minor, and then a down on the G major. So kind of uh, split the string pattern, break it into two halves, and then just divide into E minor and G. So we got right. So we have down up mute. That's it for the pre chorus. Now let's have a look at the chorus stuff. Now, in case you just want to avoid the chord, uh, the finger picking stuff which we have, you can easily just strum the chords E minor, D, C major, C major for the chorus. But if you want, let's bring the D minor chord shape over here. So it's an E minor, and now we're gonna plug the top E string, the G4 with the index, the B5 with the middle finger, and the ring finger hitting the high E string third fret. So we got. Uh, after playing that, you just kind of mute by keeping your palm on the string, like this. Go to a D major chord and you play open second, third, second. So D G B D G B E D G B E. So thumb, index, middle, ring. And you go to a C major chord and the pattern is remaining the same. You play A string third fret, open G, B one, open high E, mute. So A G B E, and using the same fingers, thumb index middle ring repeat that twice but what i do here is basically a bar version of the c major oops if you want you can do that but so this is what I'm actually going in the song and you can even avoid that bar thing by just playing it like this so in case you want to avoid the bar thing which actually happens at the last C major. So we play E minor, D major, C major. One more time we play the C major, then the bar comes in. So what do you have to do? You just play the Asian third fret, open G, and then you play open high E, then third fret and high E. That's an easy way of just kind of uh, mimicking that part. The one sounds exactly the same, but still works good though. So we got, oops. And 
in this practice if you want you can just uh, do some different stuff but what happens at the chorus too is basically the pattern gets a little bit different we play on the E minor chord we play E string G B I play E G E B same for the D D G E B C major A G E B A G E B Notice one thing for every chord only one string changes which is the top string the E changes to an A or some cases the D changes to A and vice versa because the three strings are the three strings are the ones where the bass note of the chords are located so we got you can do some small variation if you want now once you finish up with the chorus you're gonna hear a part uh, where the music goes on so that's basically the breakdown part which I call and over there chord progression is a G major D major E minor uh, So the E minor is in a bar and the D and G are in a different bar which means the chord progression actually starts off with E minor I was wrong this time when I said G but it starts off with an E minor then a D then a G then a G then a D then an E minor again an E minor D G now the first chord is always in a bar and the next two chords are in a bar which means E minor 1 2 3 4 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 E minor 2 D 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 This part is not that important so uh, if I have said anything wrong in the chord progression you can see uh, if I made a mistake over here this line is always correct so we got E minor D E minor Like that but you don't have to focus a lot on that part it's not that important you can just easily strum the E minor chord and the G major and that's gonna pretty much make down a breakdown and guys that's it for this video I hope it helps you out let me know what other songs you just want to learn and bye